folks. I'm going to review these Marmite cheesy things. These are for Drew. Drew, there you go, mate. Marmite only has cheese. Drew is a lad. He has a YouTube channel called Dutch Creek uh, Cabin. Uh, please go over and have a look at him and also have a look at Bobblehead Homestead. They are some guys in America who uh, are very entertaining. Just living the lives, put it on video. Can't see the point myself. Why do you want to put your life on video like that? I don't know. You won't have to catch me doing anything like that. Uh, I've just got to do a little quick shout out for uh, ads. It's Adam Lilly and uh, he needs a shout out for him and his girlfriend Rachel. There you go folks, you've had your shout out. Uh, if I miss shout outs, please forgive me. Um, yeah, I'm just a normal bloke. Uh, so, me and the wife, we have just been and had a meal in the Bluebell in Rothley, haven't we June? We have indeed. Um, I had some kind of steak and mushroom sandwich that was very, very nice. Uh, June, what did you have? I had a Mediterranean roasted veg and goat's cheese bagel. Mediterranean goat's cheese and veg on a bagel. Mediterranean veg. Mediterranean veg. Goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Bagel. Bagel. And that was quite... With homemade chips and a side saddle. With homemade chips and side saddle. Side saddle. Salad. Sides. What fucking planet am I on? Um, so anyway, we went over there. Then we went over to the pharmacy, the beer pharmacy at Syston. Dave was there. He was behind the bar. Then all of a sudden, he wasn't behind the bar. He's ran off, jumped in his Freelander, and gone to save some bloke's life. Hopefully, uh, who was not very well in the uh, working men's club in Syston. So hope all goes well there. Uh, and then I treated June. I took her up Asda. Uh, that's not a euphemism. Is that what it is? Metaphor, metaphor, euphemism. Is that the word? I don't know what you're on about. I'm listening to YouTube. Oh, June's listening to YouTube. Uh, anyway, I took her up Asda and, um, what are you laughing at? Took her up the Asda. Took her up the Asda. And, um, yes. Bought a few things. Uh, but what, what mainly is, uh, the ginger one came home with these the other day. Uh, they are Marmite cheeses. And um, so if you like Marmite and you like cheese, cheesy beans, uh, cheesy Marmite things. They cost me £1.30 for five. Um, what's that? About 26 pence. 20, is that 26 pence each? £1.30, I can't... It don't matter anyway. It was £1.30. They're in the net. You ain't going anywhere without the net. Um, and um, she was raving on about them, but she ate them all before I could get my chance to have one. So I thought I would uh, go and buy some and review them for you good people. And each 20 gram serving contains energy and fat and saturates and a trace of sugar and a bit of salt. We've teamed up with our mates at Ilchester Cheese to bring you these lovely Marmite Cheddar Bites made with 100% Somerset Cheddar and blended with Marmite. Uh, believe it or not, the ingredients are cheese and Marmite. Yes, cheese and Marmite. Uh, for the visually impaired, they come in like, uh, you know like the, um, when you have a coffee in a place and they give you like the little tub of coffee in you, you pop the lid and it just shoots all over the place prematurely. Um, a, pod. a coffee pod? A coffee pod. No, the coffee pod milk thing. Oh, right. You, you get the UHT in. Well, you said coffee. Yeah, no, when you have a coffee and you put milk in it. Oh, right, so you mean the little pot of milk? Yes, I do, June. June's had a rhubarb uh, gin. So, what it is then, folks, the, uh, for the visually impaired, they're in there like this little milk thing. Uh, you peel the lid off, uh, you push it underneath, and that get a piece of cheese. It is approximately the size of a £2 coin and about £5, four, three, four £4 coin, uh, oh God, three £2 coins stacked on top of each other. Or like a good draft set. 
you know, drafts. I might I suppose if you're blind, you're not going to play drafts either. You? Well, I suppose you could, because they could actually. Well, I don't know. She... I think Uncle Steve used to play um, Connect Four with me. I kept telling him to use them little counters and the thing that it came in, the blue thing, but uh, there you go. Right, so let's have a bit of a sniff. It... Jude, what? come and smell my cheese. Do you want one of your own? No, it's alright, I love that one. The eating on? Yeah, I'm freezing. It's only the 7th of bloody September, you know, woman. Hmm. Eight years today since my mum died. Is that it? <sighs> Cheer me up, why don't you? Ooh. It doesn't smell that like That smells mom. lovely. It, lovely. It smells more like... <sighs> that really, really is nice. We'll send nice, some to nice. Drew. <laughs> He'll send them back. It's nice soft cheddar. Been bit. Got bit when I was mowing the lawn the other day. Mm, nice soft cheddar and no. Uh... June didn't want one of her own. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to finish it off? No. No. Should we get the doodle? But you've got to like Marmite. If you don't like Marmite, don't even yeah. go there because it is. Gently. No, it's nicely. Oh. What do you think to that, mate? For the visually impaired, the doodle's just had a piece of uh, cheese and marmite. He is now sniffing the table, wanting more. Yeah, but he did eat a pile of horse milk earlier, so... Oh. Great big dollop. Why does he eat? Why do you eat horse... I've got to be so careful what I say, because apparently these children watch this. Um, you sure you don't want another piece? No, I'm fine, thank you. They're fine, thank you. I've had a piece. Mm. Right. Just the right amount of marmite in that. So you can still oh, yeah. taste the cheese, but you you get a definite hit of the marmite. Because I would have I would have thought that the marmite would have overpowered the cheese. Yeah, but, but it, it hasn't. Doesn't, does it? They've done well there. Mmm, it's beautiful. Mmm. Well, it's a pity they don't do it in a block. Or cheese slices so you could have it on toast. Yeah, oh, that's an idea. Yeah, but don't you do that anyway? I know that I've done in the past where um, I put a thin layer of mar oh, mar Yeah, but that's just... And then you get a piece of cheese and you do cheese on toast, you shove it back under the grill, bubble it up. But Marmite's just great, isn't it? Yeah. Well, one of our favourite things is to have toast with Marmite and then finally slice some fresh tomatoes on yes, the top. Yes, you like that, don't you, Jim? It's, it's really nice. Mm. So or that's stir quite nice. Into some pasta, that's mm. nice as well. Yeah, stir some pasta, right? Don't stir your Marmite into the pasta. Put the Marmite in the pasta. With a dollop of butter. With a dollop of butter. And give it a good mixing up. And it's really good. It's uh, one of those things that you should be trying, folks. If you like Marmite and you like pasta, uh, just chuck a knob in, a knob of butter, a knob of um, Marmite, and knob it up, and then you're away. So, yes, folks, if you like Marmite and you like cheese, that is okay for you. If you don't like Marmite and you don't like cheese, don't even bother watching this video. Uh, move on to the next one, which hopefully will be a live tomorrow night. Uh, I'm at work, I've got some of that. Uh, I've, well, I'm not gonna tell you what I've got. I'm gonna leave it all open as a surprise for you. All right, folks, laters.